Hey guys, it's Stuart again from Thumb Culture, and here we are in Spain, the Circuit de Catalunya, um, in Barcelona, and uh, well, I'm currently sat in the paddock, um, basically, but this is practice, uh, obviously I'm not going to do any recording on practice unless there's something special, so I will see you in qualifying. Okay, here we are in the paddock. Uh, nothing to report in practice, just general stuff. Got some uh, new resource points and started uh, some research. So let's listen to the voicemail. Hi, how are you? I'm just passing on your qualifying goals for this weekend. Right, so there we go. There we are. There's our, our, our qualifying goals. So let's let's get stuck in. Okay, laptop. And research. I'm researching this one here, the downforce. Um, hopefully, it'll give us a bit of a boost. So, you know, that'd be good. So, let's go to Q1. Today's qualifying session is about to start here at the Balls. circuit of Barcelona. Cap bit of rain, eh? I'm going to drive out, get used to the track. And uh, let's see how it goes. Anybody else going out? Yeah, good. It's always nice when you see another car. Let's see how we get on. Let's do this. Let's get out there. This rain could be with us for a while. Light rain conditions for the foreseeable future. Straight to the rain, it's not good. And I can take that section a bit faster, never mind. Right, let's get that back into the garage. See how that sets us off. Well, it still stayed top. Right. 
ramp it up. No DRS because it's wet. So this is pure McLaren horsepower. <laughs> That's the fastest lap so far. Well done. Right. Go back to the garage. See how that knocks us out. There we go. Still number one. Good. Still raining. I need it to stay raining so that uh, we can get on pole position. Well, I stand corrected. That was a pretty quick clap. Let's, um, yeah, I want to see the timings on that. So qualifying is complete, and we're all set for an exciting Bosh. Your top There we go. A McLaren, a McLaren is on pole position. Rockford. The grid is set then, so that just leaves so, the race uh, itself. Yeah. Join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, it's goodbye. Very familiar setting. It's beautiful day here in Spain, and with everything still to play for in the championship battle, there's no room for mistakes in a Grand Prix that's well known for creating them. It's a sellout Here's a crowd quick overview of the track for you. today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one of this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high-speed excitement to be found, including the flat-out Turn 3 and the terrifying blind right of Turn 9. Anthony Davidson is here with me today. Wow. Together we'll be taking you through yeah. all the action of this Spanish Grand Prix. It can be hard for the car to follow each other closely here due to the dirty air coming off the car in front, so perhaps we're looking at a more strategic Grand Prix out. What do you think on that? Right, let's get to it. I'm not too sure about Annoyingly, Hamilton is next to me. Right, that sounds like a good enough strategy for me. We'll go with that. Oh, he's got a terrible start. Oh wow, Rosberg got a great start. Got a flags already. Oh, that was an incident, didn't they? Right, let's knuckle down, get some racing in. Good laps.
<sighs> okay, pit stop. Have a good one, guys. Not oh, bad stop. Not oh, bad stop. So we can get out in front of these people that are racing. So, quick update. My goal was to come sit. Qualified on pole. Got away well. Stop. And I'm now currently in seven. Hopefully, Raikkonen, who was in second place, Jensen has come into the pits. Jensen to take his pit stop. And hopefully, as long as he hasn't had too good a lap, I should get back out in front of him. In theory. Oh, there's Raikkonen. It's not good. The gap behind us is zero point seven seconds. We advise moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. Mm, no, sorry about that one second. No, sit and duck. Didn't have that turning circle at all. Oh, bows. Oh, really? I went a bit wide, but there's no need to give me a squeeze like that. Squeeze me right off. Well. <sighs> Frapola. Not annoying at all, is it? Fantastic no, 
Mercedes won. Whatever. Nothing happened to his car. Ripped my front tyre off. Ah. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Difficult call, Crofty, but I'd like to say Sergio Perez. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he showed that here today. And here's <sighs> how things are shaping up in Balls. the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come. Absolute balls. See how this is going. I mean, Earth. Still drawing, that's alright. That was. Was it? I'd be. Yeah, one down. Uh, Noi Ing. <sighs> well, it's the end of another race. And whilst we're sat here in the paddock, ruining the squeeze and I don't know if that was my fault or not you know let me know in the comments what do you think um, personally I, I had nowhere else to go um, but you know yeah never mind anyway thank you very much for watching don't forget to like um, don't forget to like comment subscribe um, so I was just trying to work out who that was sat next to Anthony Davidson but I don't think it's anyone of significance um, it probably is but I don't know um, like comment subscribe you know come back um, for the next episode take it easy